Hello my kittens. Welcome to another How to Paint Cats. Today we're gonna learn how to paint two cats. I got the camera set up. Can you see it? There's some... Get some blue on my brush. And I'm just gonna start off, like I often do, with sketching some of the cats that we're gonna be uh, painting today. So, just general. I give two triangle shapes in the top and a little rounded part. That's the top of the cat's head. And then you just finish off the rest of the cat's head with a couple of swoops. And I've been doing this, uh, I've been trying new things. I've been painting a lot lately. And I've been trying painting cats with uh, <laughs> only half their legs. You know, cats have four legs. Uh, so I'm only gonna paint one leg in the front and then just go back and he kind of has a hind leg that you paint in the back <laughs> kind of getting close to the edge of the canvas that's not a big deal and of course you can't forget cats usually have tails in my paintings Last installment, I asked if we could get 10 subscribers, and we did it. We broke 10 subscribers. A little bit how the sausage is being made. I don't know if we actually did it. I filmed this on Monday, released it on Friday. So we got one cat outline done. I said we're going to paint two cats. So I'll just, uh, I think we're going to make them go face to face pretty close. Almost like they're kissing. Maybe it's a prelude to them actually kissing. Now, just because I don't want to develop too much of a style yet, this is only the second installment. I'm going to paint a cat with a regular amount of legs <laughs> as the second cat. Okay, let's just paint the tail. We don't need to finish with the tail. You just paint it there. And now to paint four-legged cat. That's one leg. And then this will be the other leg. And then that's the stomach. There we go. Wow. I outdid myself. I... You know, you always gotta be proud of your work. Because if you're not going to be proud of it, well, I guess the question where would be who else would be proud of it, but me. I'm proud. Have you decided to grab a paintbrush and paint along with me at any point in time? I'd love to see what you've done. Uh, please tweet at me, Instagram me. I'm starting new accounts for this channel. Want to see the talented people out there make art as well. And if you don't paint and you're just here for the videos too, I appreciate that. Sometimes it's just nice to hang around and be a nice, chill person. Um, I'm going to leave, I'm going to like draw with the red paint spaces for the eyes and for the nose and kind of paint around them. That way, when it comes time to paint the cat eyes, I won't have too much of this red paint underneath to fight with. Not as much. There's still going to be lots. Oops. I kind of dipped my paintbrush in some blue there. I'll try to clean it off a little bit. Um... But that's fine. We'll just have a little bit of darker paint here. Go back, get some more brilliant red. Mm. What are some of your experiences painting? I'd love to hear about what the, the who, what, where, and how of your art skills, your painting who you are, where you paint, 
how you paint, whether you paint with acrylics, like I'm painting with right now, or oils, which I often paint with, watercolors, which is, um, I would argue, one of the hardest paints to work with, acrylics being kind of hard, and oils. <laughs> I like painting with oils. I find it a little bit easier than uh, acrylic. But... I find the one thing I find universal with no matter how I decide to paint is that I enjoy myself while I'm painting. Now for the other cat, I don't know if I should paint it red as well. Maybe we should, uh, I talked about painting orange before, but I've never really done it. This yellow that I use is kind of, uh, a little bit translucent, transparent, I mean. I guess it's a little translucent would be more. Not quite. So I'm mixing up some yellow with a little bit of red. Getting some orange. Ooh, this is a color I'm very familiar painting with. <laughs> I've never actually painted an orange cat with uh, this new style that I've been dabbling with. I call it a style, but it's just a combination of years of painting and a little bit of laziness okay here we go here's the big thing i'm gonna mix in with the blue oh it's gonna it's kind of coming out green uh, i don't like that see that red is a little more subjective to it it just kind of darkens it up but this is making it green i'm used up all the orange i mixed up already I'm gonna have to mix up some more orange. So there's a little bit of red. Here's a whole bunch of yellow. There's a bit of blue in there. Ugh. Now I got this ugly orange, but we're gonna have to roll with it. Maybe we'll cover up some of that brilliant orange a bit. All right. I forgot to leave space for the eyes, but that's okay. In the famous words of Bob Ross, there's no such thing as mistakes. Just happy little accidents. I like to have an updated version of that saying, there's no such thing as mistakes, just happy little catsidents. Make that into a t-shirt. Maybe. <laughs> I could dream, right? Making merch. But until then, let's just paint some cats, baby. Mm -hmm. Kind of globbing on a bit of the uh, orange. Kind of looking a little Halloween-y. <laughs> I said weenie. Ooh. This is one of my favorite parts of painting. That's why I put a camera on my palette. So you can see it a little bit. I'm mixing up the colors, and then you bring up the color, and I'm using it on the big camera. Ooh, this orange one's taking some more time. Maybe that's another reason why I started painting just red cats. Just so easy. Hmm? I've almost used all the yellow on my palette. I don't know if I have enough yellow. I have to get some more yellow if I want to paint a sun. But I don't know if we should paint a sun in this. Ooh, there we go. I got lots of paint all over my cat. Dirty paint here. Let's just kind of make it more uniform a bit. Mmm, I love it. Well, there's a bit of yellow I could possibly get. All right. Just clean my brush. I like to use the same brush for a lot of the paintings. Here's some yellow. Let's get a little sun in there. Just a little one today. Yeah. Now ain't that the sun. There's a lot of glare on this painting, I've realized. 
Uh oh. We're gonna have to deal with that. Hey! Not so much glare anymore. You kind of see the painting for what it is. Hey, learning curves here. We're just. Well, we're just doing our thing today. Um. Well, I kind of got a bit of yellow. I did kind of want to make some green. So let's grab some blue mixed up with that yellow. Ugh, makes this ugly green though. Hmm. Well, it seems like I need to put the green there, but ew. Okay. I have another yellow coming on the way and it has um, less red pigment in it. I'll be able to mix green a lot better. Mixing orange is no problem. But I'm having a hard time making green. And I already spent all my money like buying all these paints. Um, I don't know. It's like 20 bucks for a big thing of paint. But I have one coming in the mail. Next time I'll have be able to make uh, a better green. I promise. Um, hmm, I'm kind of having, like, do I even want to paint the background too much? Maybe we should kind of do a different style. So I'm going to get this blue, a lot of this blue, and I'm going to mix it up with a bunch of white. Take a bunch of white and start adding in a little bit of blue at a time. And I'm kind of leave it half mixed. Now I'll put my brush to the side. I'll still be using that in a little bit. Now I'm going to grab a fan brush. This fan brush has seen better days. Let's see. Is this going to see it on camera? No. <laughs> Let's see this camera. This fan brush has seen better days. I've been using this one. This is one of my OG art supplies. And um, there's, uh, well, it's bits of dried paint in there and acrylic. And it's just no longer nice. So I'm going to try that out. I kind of like it. Okay, let's load up a lot of paint here. Kind of thinking, okay, let's just go straight white now. Mixed in with this blue. Okay, let's go the darker blue. Okay, now I'm going to go for the cerulean blue, which is kind of this lighter blue that I currently have on my palette. Kind of mix it up a little bit in there with the other paints, the other shades of blue. Okay, back to the white, mix it in with some of the other blue. Mm. I have a fun time just mixing colors. It's not really about the finished art product most of the time, especially when you're an artist like me who's not really in demand at the moment. So you kind of just start falling in love with the act of painting. But I kind of seem to be contradicting myself because I'm not really taking the time today. And I think I'm rushing myself because I'm on camera. I still don't know what this show really is going to be like. Uh, I feel like we're kind of there. A lot of the work went into the face paint, makeup. Um, here we go. I'm going to mix in some of that uh, orange in with the blue so it'll kind of brown it up a bit. Oh, it looks like some kind of green. Oh, let's, well, I have this kind of green color mix on my brush. Let's put it on the ground. Now I have some yellow. 
mix some yellow in. Uh, cerulean blue, mix that in a little bit too. Cool. Now, I think I need some color of maybe some green. I don't know. Um, I'll wipe a bit down on my thing. I'm gonna I'll wipe my brush a bit down on my palette. Pick up some more blues with my brush. And yeah, just fill in some space here. Okay. Picking up some more miscellaneous blues. Wow. What do you think? Do you like it? I feel like there's something missing in the sky now. Hmm. Let's try to make some gray and make some clouds. So I'll mix some, some blue and some red. Ooh, it's kind of looking brown. What is that? Oh, yellow. I need yellow. <gasps> kind of used up all my yellow. And all my white. Hmm. I really like this brown, though. Let's not let this go to waste. Okay, I'm gonna go clean my brush. I thought I was gonna use some more. Now I'm gonna pick up this beautiful brown I mixed here by mistake and just kinda make it this cat's eyes. Um, okay, now I'm gonna grab some blue for the next cat's eyes. And just big old circles. Yeah, cat's eyes, okay. Now I'm definitely going to need some white paint, so didn't have much on my palette to begin with. Now we got those eyes. Well, let's make the whites of the eyes. I'm doing this in a different order than I normally painted in, just because I had that brown ready to go. I seem to be picking up. Oh shit! Oh, there goes my first swear word on this swear on this channel. I don't think I'm going to edit it out. All right. Those look beautiful. Look at those whites of those eyes. I don't think I've ever done such a good job of whites on the eyes. Oop. All right. Oh, getting a little flustered here. Okay, get some white. Mix in with the tiniest little bit of red. A little bit more, I guess. Then you get a kind of a pink, kind of like the color of my nose, for the cat nose. All right. Now I'll go back. I'm going to get some of that dark blue out of my thing and use up some of that white. Clean off my paintbrush. Go back in. Now I'm going to make some... I got this paintbrush. What am I going to do? I'm going to paint a cat. I'm going to hide images of cats in the sky with the same colors and everything. And that way, it's just, it's very subtle. In fact, you can barely tell. That one's a little more obvious. I kind of like it. Wow. Okay. Now to make some black. Let's make this painting pop. I'm going to make some blue. Some dark blue. And a tiny bit of red. And let's see how that comes out. Add some more red. Ooh, that's looking kind of good. That's kind of, it's a kind of a, 
a light black. Maybe I'll add some more blue. That dark, dark blue. Don't forget to make the kitty smile and give him some whiskies. Little whiskers. If you like this uh, video, make sure to like and subscribe, baby. Let's see if we could make it to 15 with this second video. Do you think I could make it to 15 subscribers? It's a dangerous precedent. All right. The blacks of this cat's eyes aren't even showing. I'll give him a little smile. Wow. Well, I'm going to do something with that cat's eyes a little bit. Okay. I'm making them blue. Off the cuff. And we're going to paint around the blacks of the eyes. So I'm going to grab some white. Mix it in with some of that blue. Make kind of a light blue. Not so bad. It's getting a lot of paint there. Oop. My suspenders falling off. Hmm. Okay, let's grab dots for white. Make those sh eyes shine. I feel like I should do something about the background a bit. So I'm grabbing a bigger paintbrush. This is a big ass filbert. Um. Just mix up some blue and just kind of fill up some dead spots here and there. I don't think I'm going to go too crazy. But yeah. If you paint cats, please let me know. I would love to see your work. Hmm. My name is GP. That stands for Giant Pussycat. And that's how you paint two cats. Thank you so much. Remember to like and subscribe again. Mwah!